Hello, everyone. I'm here to address some allegations and some controversy that were established last night on Matt Wilkins' nightcap. Matt Wilkins was sent a picture of my brother because we were talking about Western Sizzlin, which is talked about almost every Matt Wilkins live stream. Um, but we're talking about Western Sizzlin. Jonathan mentions it as Jonathan, my brother, is commenting on the Matt Wilkins stream. And then Matt goes, no, Brennan doesn't have a brother. He mentioned he was an only child, which was not true. I don't know where he got that from. But he then took that, and I sent him a picture of my brother eating ice cream, which was absolutely deconstructed. Then I had to send him a picture of us together on the same screen, and he claimed it was my cousin. Um, so, apparently, I do not have a sibling. So, what's this? Is this a green screen? This is my brother, Jonathan. He's known as Film Fanatic on YouTube, and he reviews movies, makes videos about sports. He also has some exposure to the EU. A little bit. A little bit. Um, he's read uh dawn of the jedi and he's read um dark times and he's read um legacy as well um and gray holmes joining us hopefully matt will join us as well so that we can get these allegations uh dealt with here's blue pig there he is hello blue pig yep is is that noah i don't know there's so many noah clones about Whoa, who's this? Ah, we've got a, a quality battle going on. Lance is surprised. Uh, Lance, watch our antics or read an amazing trilogy. Read an amazing trilogy. Greyholm, don't comment. No comment on Dark Nest. You don't want me to. Um, yeah. And uh, Children of the Jedi, yes, a spectacular book, Maxwell, spectacular. Uh, it's truly a masterpiece, a high literature, as Sloth would call it. High literature, high literature. Next to a mirror, where? What um, are you talking about? That's not a mirror. 200,000 Brennans are ready with a million more on... Well on their way. Well, this clone is faulty then because he doesn't like reading. <laughs> Callista trilogy is better? I don't know about that. Who knows? There are many Noah clones. But, um, yeah. There is a huge battle going on in the comments of quality autism clones. But, so those were the allegations last night. And... Um, it became a little joke meme that didn't stop for two whole match streams. And so I figured I would clear this up and literally bring this guy on, check out his channel called Film Fanatic, and this is this is this is my brother. So there you have it. I don't know what else there is to say. Hopefully Matt shows up before too long. Um and maybe we can we can show him that I do have a brother. I don't know why that became a thing. I wasn't ex expecting it to come a thing. I wasn't expecting him to be critiquing his ice cream usage, which I will admit it was very strange. <laughs> Greyholm, do you think that ice cream was unholy? <laughs> I couldn't quite see the picture that time because Matt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a fair point. Um, I see a lot oh, I of... I see Maxwell's being driven insane by Children of the Jedi. I see a lot of clone comments. Yeah. Children of the Jedi over Thrawn trilogy. Wow. You have been... Uh, no, it's a scroll up. He said it's better than Plagueis and Traitor too. Oh, wow. He's I assume... Bug nuts. I assume and hope it's an elaborate joke. I, I think he's just being driven insane. Alex is here. How how much did you pay this guy to show up in your stream? My dog is here as well, so we're getting we're getting the whole family now. Um, Alex is here. Hello. Oh man, I thought it was Matt. 
I did not pray. Sorry, Alex. Hello. I'm getting. No, he's not getting 50 bucks. He isn't the next door neighbor. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm not helping our case too much. Yeah, Maxwell, the horror, the horror is the perfect way to describe the Callister trilogy, specifically the Hambly books. They're okay. They're not great, but they're definitely not the worst thing. Besides Planet of Twilight, that is really bad. But Children of Jedi. That's not funny. Great. That's funny. <laughs> here's the here's the problem, Lance. You see, I got a literal letter from Brendan's parents, so I know Brendan's parents are legit because he sent me all the books that I own. So they sent a letter, did they? Alex, oh, I thought you were saying I was hot again. You're just saying I haven't seen you in a while. Okay, just had to clarify that. <laughs> Okay. That's that's not the second time. This is the second time Blue Pigs claim this. Yes, Lance, that is unbelievable. And um, Blue Pig, I don't like to to guess at what this is inferring or implying, but um, yeah, yeah, um, not currently. Not currently. Am I going to invite the whole family on? Uh, they actually, I have it. I have it with me. Uh, where where is it? I always have it. Uh... <laughs> I have it around here. I don't remember it exactly. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Was, it a, was it a nice letter? I don't remember if I read it or not. Hold on. Where is it? There's no way Bounty Hunter Wars is worse than Calista. The only book that could possibly be worse is Planet of Twilight. Yes, Planet of Twilight is worse than Children of the Jedi. Gonna have to go for it, but it, it was a nice letter. Never, oh, uh, never, ever, 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 ever one of the worst trilogies. It's gonna be my top ten books in the entire expanded universe. Absolutely garbage trilogy filled with nothing but emptiness and despair. Absolute garbage. Yes. Garbage. Um, oh, Brandon, you... awesome. Sorry. <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on. I, can uh, I can't confirm or deny that, Maxwell, but that's partly because I've never seen Blue Pig's face. Blue Pig, you've been a pretty good dad. Yeah, indeed. He has. You're my evil twin, perhaps. Calista Trilogy is better than Bounty Hunter Wars? Maybe. Maybe. Ah, it's It's hard. I actually have two brothers. Yes, exactly. Blue Pig. Exactly. How could I not have a brother when um, my evil twin with the worst takes is uh, exists? You'll dox yourself again. Yeah, that was just a couple days ago. That was a very ironic twist, I have to say. But yeah. even more ironic is that nobody spotted it until I did hours later. <laughs> I love how you like you're asleep for a lot of the time, so then you just like go through like six hours of messages and yeah. have to respond to them all. Yeah. Um how but this guy hmm. this guy here um is my brother, not someone on Craigslist, and he reviewed movies. It's actually a mail order uh brother. So. A mail order brother? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well he uh, thanks, Alex. You're really helping me uh, clear up these allegations. No, you uh, know, if you know how it's a fact, you can look back on. Uh, I did a live stream on the Spider-Man movies, or who was the best Spider-Man like last year. This was the first yeah. time that Brennan talked to me. Those are still up. You can find them on my. It was so artistically done playlist, uh, and uh, Brennan's on there, and his brother pops up, and he had a much higher voice back then. But he was there. He's like, hello. Blah, blah, blah. So, so, yeah. Thank you, thank you. I had a higher yeah. voice too, to be fair. Yeah, you did. You both did. Yeah. <laughs> Get him off of Amazon. Brendan, there is no one next to you. Gas oh, no. I'm so hard right now. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. yeah Greyhound, there, there's nobody there, right? I, I, don't, I don't know why Brendan invited us on the stream, but he's just, it's just Brendan this whole time. That's the six. No, it's because Matt Wilkins isn't here yet. It's just yeah, because right there's no Matt Wilkins. 
He's right here, guys. You don't see him? You don't see him? <laughs> he's a good guy. This guy does movie reviews. He does sports stuff. Oh, he's there again. There you have it. He never left. Is that what I mean? He never left. He never left. Oh, he's good. always in our hearts. <laughs> he's always in our hearts. Does anybody yeah. like my thing? He doesn't like reading books, though. Alex Grayholm. Can you talk some sense into him? Okay, when you roll, uh, where you Brennan, find yourself. I have the ultimate solution, uh, which, which works is? for a uh, what was it? I was five. It worked for five-year-old me. Read Lord of the Rings to him. He's read Lord read of the Star Rings. Read Star Wars to you. Man. He read yeah, then Brother give him a reading of the of the revanchist. Yeah. He tried to read me. Um, I tried to read him. Read him. Uh, Old Republic deceived. That was and... a long <laughs> Why'd you start I there? Liked... It's because he liked Malgus. And um, oh, but every time he'd start reading it, I would like fall asleep in like three or five minutes. He would fall asleep literally like sentences in. Wow. He he has read Dawn of the Jedi, Legacy, and Dark Times though. So I'm assuming like, you don't read the Dawn of the Jedi novel. The Dawn of the Jedi novel? Yeah, he knows he knows it's bad. He's listened to Liam talk John, about it. Jonathan Let me tell you. I loved reading when I was in elementary school and middle school. I got to high school. I stopped reading. I wanted to play video games. Got out of high school. Actually, that's a good suggestion. Try Junior Hated. Jedi Knights. That too. Junior Jedi Knights is good. But but I got out of high school, hated the sequel movies, right? You know, and then I found, you know, and I've been collecting That's the EU for a while and I started reading it, right? You know, and I hadn't read in like four years. It got me back into it. So I think you just need to find the right book for you. And I think, I think you'll cave like the rest of us have. You just got to find that book for you. I think that reading Romeo and Juliet for school kind of burned me out on reading. Well, that is because Romeo and Juliet is boring. Don't let anybody yes. tell you otherwise. It is. Yeah. Um, I was reading all the classics this year for school. So well, that was your first mistake. You don't. You don't <laughs> I know. He, he, <laughs> he didn't choose that. It's the curriculum. Yeah. yeah, I know it's the curriculum, but it's a mistake that you have to be forced to read. I wish yeah. I got classics. Here's, here's Renan, Alex. you know my struggles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's, here's Alex's statement, guys. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, the American school system is flawed. That's what Alex basically just said. <laughs> Could you um, imagine if, if, like, American school system, Romeo and Juliet, made you read, like, I don't know, Darth Bane or... Doom. Darth Vader, Kenobi, Traitor. Amazing. Doom, yeah. yeah. That'd, that'd be um, I cannot send you this empty shelf. I just did a live stream packing up all of this. Um, it was kind of sad. It's all in boxes over there right now because I'm moving, so I can't send you this shelf currently because I have further use of it. And um, blue, and uh, don't listen to Blue Pig. Make sure to never read Bounty Hunter Wars or you'll never want to read a book again. It's uh, more boring than uh, – Romeo and Juliet looks like an absolute epic in comparison to Bounty Hunter Wars. If you want to read Bounty Hunter Wars, it'll force you to do uh, something violent. I'm um, like, like Alex. throw it against the wall. Yeah. With force. Exactly. Lance has a question for you. Yeah. Um, thoughts on the sequels? Uh, yeah, those were horrible. So we went to the movie theater to see those because our friends were into them at the time, and oh, oh no. they got progressively worse and worse and worse. And just the characters were just horrible. The plot was dreadful, and so those are just awful. And I think. The one that I enjoyed most at the time was Solo when that came out, but now it's just like, eh, it's not that good. Now that I look back on it, I think, yeah, that's not a good movie. But overall, they were all just... I like how right. Lance said brother, because he's still not buying it. Um, that's fair at Quillen Voss Young version. Nomeo and Juliet over Romeo and Juliet. Absolutely. I did see Nomeo and Juliet. Oh, I man. didn't love Nomeo and Juliet, we but the sequel, uh, Sherlock Gnomes, oh. was actually pretty good. I mean, I like it. It's kind of uh, uh, it's proof the American school system is failing us. Have any comments, uh, Alex? Um, well, 
He'd have a point if I went to college. But I didn't. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Well, it's, uh, on the it's, other hand, uh, the home school system is absolutely going crazy. It, yeah, it, it'll so, pay off for him, though. Right? You know, I'm, I'm over just, here I'm just, instead, then. I'm just based, you know, who needs, who needs, a, who needs college? Whoa, field, but, uh, why is this? Why did it play for an entire year? What that's did the really movie crazy. make the box office? That's weird. Permission for what? Permission for what? I have a bad <laughs> feeling about this. <laughs> you, you probably don't want to know knowing him. Yeah. For doxing me or something? <laughs> I think he is. I've already said I live in California, Drake. so. How's it going, Drake? I like your new profile picture. Um, did you make an unaltered clone? Um, that's funny. Hey, man. Uh, I'm going to help this guy uh, make uh, a light cider copy. He's an awesome guy. Um, I was trying to ha! do that. Ha -ha. Then, I, then I ended up working on a farm for a while. Oh. Uh, Blue pig. <laughs> you know, it's okay because that I'm proud of that. I, I would have made that joke back in high school, but you know, I uh, I've actually never been to Mexico because I was born here in America and I can't speak Spanish, so I'm a terrible Mexican. So, you know. Well, you spelled my name wrong. If that's <laughs> supposed to be Lu Oop, uh rip off. Um, hey man, thanks for joining us. You got his permission. No, you didn't. <laughs> um, Slav, what's going on is Hopkins claims I don't have a brother. But I do. That Welcome was on the last night, uh, Slav, if you missed it. Um, this has been your profile picture for like five years. I guess I wasn't that attentive. What is your most hated Star Wars trope? Um, Star Wars family members um, liking each other? Uh, no, uh, my most hated Star Wars trope. I guess it's not hated, but I get tired sometimes of like dark side getting redeemed. Sometimes, I guess. It's been done a lot, but it's been done very effectively a lot. What do you guys think? Uh, for, the, for the question or your answer? Uh, for the question. Okay. The action scenes the, the thing are is, very similar. The action scenes, yeah. Action, eh? like, like how they resolve them tend to be the same. Mm. Yeah. And a lot of them. That's it's, true. You know, just a different place and different events. But like, yeah, it's not the same, but like it, it starts to feel tired. And it's like, yeah, shooting the guns, doing this and that. And they, you know, barely escape or whatever. And it's like, then every adventure. So it just yeah. gets tiring, I guess. I guess that's about it for me. Yeah. But I also don't like action scenes to begin with, unless it's in a comic book. Blue Pig brings up uh, something from your past, Alex. Right. That's a wonderful uh, parallel to the Joker movie, uh, which is utter perfection. No tango mucho adelante is what uh, Blue Pig wrote down below. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good video. I'm proud of that one. Uh, that that The whole... The whole idea was instead of becoming Joker, the I, I become a stereotypical uh, Mexican. So that was the, the whole joke. With the I wanted was, a poncho, but we couldn't afford it. But I at least got the sombrero. Very, it was very funny, and your acting there was really good. Your acting there was really good. In that one. <laughs> oh, I like oh, how. I was, you, sorry, go ahead. Speaking of acting, um, did you see the message I uncovered from Marcel? I think we have to hold him to that for Halloween. About dressing up as Dave Filoni? Yes. What was that? A Soka t shirt of his. Oh, yeah. We need to hold him to that. That's going to be incredible. Incredible. Um, yeah, no, my name's Brandy Slav, as you well know. Um, Spanish is easy. Keep practicing. I took one year and wasn't really good. He took two years, though. Yeah, I don't remember much of it. <laughs> I took sign language instead. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Favorite species, guys. I know Alex is going to go for Zeltron. 
kidding. No, it's not my favorite. I mean, you're gonna give it up for clones, clones, cloned humans, especially. Um, I like clones your first game. Favorite EU species? You gotta go with the Jebby. Um, <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, or the Bylar, the naked Winnie the Poohs. Those are good too. I'll probably go with the Vong. Yeah, Vong are pretty good. That's a good choice. That's a solid cho- choice. You should push you on a high on my list. Lance, aren't they somewhat related? Yes, yeah, that'd be are. really weird. That's uh, nope. uh, there was that unfortunately misprinted comic where Lance, uh, what's your problem? Delia Blue was uh colored as Marissa Fell, I think. Really, yeah, the, the, they miscolored the comic, so uh, Whoa. yeah, you can see where that went. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure Noah has uh, a screenshot somewhere. Redemption. Oh, Redemption. I'm a terrible person. I completely forgot. Sorry. That in Slava. Re- yeah. I, yeah. I, I had completely planned on it and things happened today, which got me distracted. Uh, okay. I'll make sure to do it um, before the end of tomorrow, whether it be before I go to work or after. Jebby uh, are great. Sir Johnny. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Delia Blue and Kate all the way. Marisai is a relative of his, like a second cousin. Um, Lance is from the South, like me. It's only we Southern boys understand the true meaning of family bonding. Of course. Oh, no. That's why I said, so what? Uh, yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Lance um, really be showing that, uh, that, that love of Christ, but uh, maybe too much love. <laughs> You know, love not intended, you know, that way, you know. Brotherly and sisterly love. Yeah, yeah, you know. But this time intentional on the part of a, a Lance instead of a... So, I have know, an update from right Matt. Accident. Yeah, what do, you, what do you say? I have an update from you Matt. You have his phone uh, number. I forgot that you have his phone number. Sorry, Both brother. Both. Tonight. So, I more than expect his next live stream. If I'm in the comments, he will say, I have no brother. Um, yes, he'll say that this stream was a complete fake. Ask him tomorrow night. He'll say I'm that this. Calling it now. He'll say that this stream was faked. He will, and then he'll go on and continue like nothing happened. So we have to get him at some point. Um, he has to meet this amazing person here. It would be really great effects. Uh, because because Brennan is superior to literally every single person in the expanding universe fandom outside of uh, Christopher Nelson. Because, what are you talking about? Because because of Lance's thing of how did you get his phone number? Because everybody else is expendable except for Brennan because uh, Ex- Matt Ed- gave him his phone number. Yeah, Expendable? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean? I, you got his phone number, man. We, we all just got his email at most. You, you got his phone number. Like, you're on a different level than the rest of us. I mean, you're, you're nice, man. You're nice. Yeah, uh, you got his phone number. I don't got that. I don't Lance know what to say. Have that? I don't know what to say about that. that. I'll move on. Yes, Kate and Marcia and Anya are you know, all family. You know, who else has, you know who else has his phone number? Christopher, Dylan, Brian, and maybe Wisconsin. Hence, you are in the inner circle of true yes. highest caliber individual. Mm-hmm. I don't I mean, I don't, I don't think Marcel was the phone number. Looks, um, but I got it because I was involved in March Madness with him. Um, oh, this, is, this is like Chris Nelson flashing Escape from Dagu. Well, Jonathan uh, has Escape from Dagu um, oh, right shit. here. It's his first book that he's been reading. Um, so then Marcel so and uh, Meg probably have it. Then, uh... Probably. Never mind. Then Marcel and Meg are now on the same caliber as you. Matt, and Matt, we're all you... left in the dust. Matt gave you the Hulk Hogan acknowledgement with brother. brother. Yes. Um, so, yeah, uh, this this was to clear up the, the allegations from Scott Johnson and Matt Wilkins um, of this, which is, yeah, email can be tedious. Well, sorry, um, Lance, you're on the same level as Brennan. <laughs> are you trying to start a fight? <laughs> 
Alex! <laughs> I think P is trying to start a fight. I'm not inciting anything. I don't know. I'm I'm starting to get worried. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I think there so is just... a reason for worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I mean, I'm wearing a Savage Press shirt right now, so Lance will shun that me for that. A few points. Yeah, knocks got me out a few Filoni, points. Got that Filoni filler. Um, oh, I see. The the insecurity pouring forth. Ha ha ha! I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I love you. <laughs> Before the stream starts to turn into an argument, I will once again reiterate: Matt Wilkins, Scott Johnson. I have a brother, not a paid actor, not a cousin. This is my brother. Um, also, I will answer this: What level am I, Blue Pig? You are um, troll level. Which is a mm. very unattainable tro- uh, level for most people. Um, if you hear panting now, the, my dog is here panting now. Um, Poloni filler is almost every episode of TCW. You have a separate tier of your own. Yes, the tier of your own is my dog shaking. Your Their tier of your is finally own. understanding. The troll tier. You're the EU court jester. That yeah, that works. Up. Hello there. He's on me. Brennan, there isn't anyone next to you. You're crazy, man. Oh, geez. You can't see him? You can't see him, too? No, the real truth is is if you interpret the the um, the comment in a slightly different variation, what he's really saying is that in terms of, of EU fandom, there truly is no one next to you. Alex, get out of here, man. <laughs> I have the art of moving so incredibly still, I've become invisible to the eye. Oh, I yeah. see. Nice Drax reference. Yeah, very nice. <gasps> bacon, bacon, okay. bacon, bacon, bacon. Okay. Would you rather? Ah, okay. uh, man, darn it. You're right, I am. Um, <laughs> I don't think Alex has to answer that if he doesn't want to, Blue Pig. Uh, after, what you, coming- after what you said to him earlier, man. This each this keeps going on in public forums, which I was trying to avoid, but whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's going good. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of only said it on Discord. It's kind of spread to now publicly everywhere. So, uh, but yeah, it's going good. I mean, um, Alex, you're in. Don't worry, Alex. I'm sure Pig is going to dox himself again soon. So <laughs> yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, you yeah. are an internet celebrity in the EU circle, Alex. So everyone That's probably true. wants to know. It's true. Wait, it's because of Lance. Because yesterday we were on the stream with Matt. And Lance mentioned it during the stream. That's what happened. That's what happened. That's why. Uh, but uh, in part, what did I do, Blue Pig? Dang it. Um, then Star Wars Tales videos. Yeah, I have the fifth one I'm working on right now. Um, I plan on rolling that out. Okay, Tuesday, sometime next week, I plan on uh, uploading the fifth one. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Um, yeah, the fifth one should come next week. And then I'm hoping to get, like, there was like a month gap between the second one and the third one and another month between the third and the fourth. So, you know, um, yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying. The stream ended when I mentioned it. Oh, was that Matt's stream last night? Maybe. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna get out of here from this stream since Matt will not be here to um see the evidence and uh realize he is wrong. Um but at the same time I have proved that I'm not crazy. Or maybe I have proved I'm crazy if no one else can see him. Do you mean the game or the books? Uh, thoughts on the game, thoughts oh, on the sorry. games, the games. I love the first one. The second one's good, but not as good. And the books, the first one's good. The second one's good, but not as good. The comics are not very good, except the second one's pretty good. I disagree. Uh, I say yeah. the second Force Unleashed novel is, is better than the first Force Unleashed novel. Uh, but okay. I agree with everything else you said. Greyholm, what are your thoughts? I remember reading uh, either one or both. Also, I think it was Horse Unleashed one, or maybe both, uh, a long time ago. 
uh, I wasn't wowed by anything. Um, okay. Game wise, uh, I was I stole my dad's laptop to go play it. Uh, Force and each one that is, but then he mm -hmm. uploaded to Windows Eleven, and then uh, it stopped working. I couldn't launch the game oh. after that. So too bad. Um, no comment on the game front. Okay. The Force Unleashed 2 is the epitome of crapping yourself. I don't agree. I, I don't know about that. It, it's, it's good to me! The story is a little un more unnatural. That was a reference. Um, yep. That was a pretty good okay. reference, actually. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I don't know if everybody got it, because it was very quiet. But it also could have just been unfunny, so... <laughs> <laughs> You needed to do it as a raw sort of thing. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. Sam Whitmore is screaming. I enjoyed the multiplayer version yeah. of the Force Unleashed. He liked, he liked the, uh, the battle mode where you could like play as various characters. Yeah. Uh, I don't smash so random buttons and get destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> then my cousin, who's never played video games before in his life, actually read the little manual that came with the game. So we learned all these moves, and I was so confused how he was beating me. Yeah, he destroyed us. He destroyed us, yeah. Force Unleashed 1 is like when you're excited to eat somewhere, but the food is just okay. I think it's pretty good. I like the first story. I like Boba Fett scenes in Force Unleashed 2. Boba Fett's pretty good in the second one, yeah. Uh, the... The reason I think the second novel is better than the first is because the first novel is almost beat for beat just the first game. It just um, helps fix some of the problems with, with uh, Starkiller by making him be less powerful than he actually seems in the game. Um, was mainly what it's there for. And then the second uh, book actually includes a lot of things that aren't in the video game that are actually, those are the best parts of the novel or all the parts that are added that aren't actually in the game. So it actually adds upon the game and you know expands upon it. You know, that's what the expanded universe does. So Pico, um, you're absolutely right. Um, that could be. The gameplay is fun in both. Absolutely it is. It's very fun. Only Jedi Knight Jedi Academy has better gameplay in my opinion. Oh, I I shared that video around. Uh yeah, well, I, I don't agree with the uh the whole should be canon, because it is canon. Um, yeah, but uh, uh, it's just a succinct recap of the entire game, and I and I wanted Matt to watch it since he's never going to play a video game in his life again. So it's really good. I learned a lot of background information about the making of it that I hadn't been aware of. Which is yeah, that cool. was really interesting. I didn't know that stuff before I watched it. Hot take. Hot take. Wow. Really not, no. No. Come no. on. Mall killer. He's great. We need Mall Killer to have his own novel. Well, Slav, I wrote a fan fiction about this that actually won a contest, but I lost the files and I've been. Oh, looking I never got to read it. I've been looking everywhere for them. Someone who read it said that it was um, that it reminded him of Dark Lord: The Rise of Darth Vader, how it was written, which was like a huge compliment, like huge. Like I, I don't know what they were smoking, but it was it was nice to hear at least. Um, coming about the time period it is supposed to take place, and I consider it a mistake. Uh, yeah, there. More, yeah. Of a gap, more of a gap is very helpful. I still Ahsoka think the story is good. good. Ahsoka is a feminist star killer. I don't see that at all. Outside the was fact that, that she's Anakin's apprentice. But that's like my the only story, thing. My mall killer versus Vader story, Slav, was like a beat-up style story. It also got compared to mall lockdown as well. Because I had like it, the only canonical information on Mall Killer is that Vader himself feared him. So in the story, Mall Killer beats Vader up, and Vader beats Mall Killer up. And I had just this idea that Mall Killer is just a killing machine. He's like a Jem Hadar from Star Trek on steroids, mixed with uh, unstable Darth Maul, mixed with an unstable Star Killer. So I just made it to where. He was like a killing machine. So by the end of it, he has his arms cut off and he's still trying to kill Vader. He's like, he uses the force to like levitate a lightsaber and still try to kill Vader. Um, Because it's also mentioned his force powers are really insane. So I tried to emulate that in the story. But I can't believe I lost the files. I'm kicking myself for it. It's on an old fandom website. 
that was created just for the fan fiction. And I've been looking everywhere for it, but I can't find it. There's a lightsaber behind me now. It was not high literature compared to your story, Slav. Force mm, Unleashed. But, but, yes, Slav, New Jedi Order is high literature. You should go read it. Except it is- I talked to Slav the other night in the Discord. He's like, yeah, but like, I don't care about the original trilogy characters after the original trilogy. So oh. I, I want to focus on the prequel era because I don't I don't think the prequels are good films. So I want the EU help. It. I want to read that stuff. That's what I'm interested in. I'm like, yeah, but some of the best stories you're going to get are post Return of the Jedi. He's like, yeah, but I don't really care. I'm like, oh, I think please. this is spoiling the next podcast, but my favorite era is hands down New Jedi Order. It's not even a contest. Same. Absolutely. Same. So- Basically, anything after Return of the Jedi is my favorite. What's the best book in the New Jedi Order series? That traitor. would be traitor. Or the unifying force. Star the, Wars. the only yeah. r- way you can argue the unifying force is by saying that it brings all of New Jedi Order behind it, and therefore it's the best. Yeah, I mean, so does Traitor. knowledge of the previous books. I still argue that Traitor. Okay, but is by by brings New Jedi Order behind it, I mean it. Uh, it has payoff for basically every book. Fair. I say yeah, Star Wars no. Traitor, but this guy would probably like Traitor because Ganner's Last Stand is like epic. Epic. You know? Yeah, and this is why he, you need to read. I do like Cusox and Wedge. Then you can enjoy bad, Ganner's Last Stand. What about Jason and Tenel Ka and Young Jedi Knights? That's that's better. Lance will it's attest to that as well, I'm sure. Uh, and Alex, maybe. I was sad when Luke and Mara won the couples contest in March Madness. Cause yeah, I don't think they're the best. Yeah, that was yeah. kind of boring to see a one team. It was so boring because it's so obvious choice. But... Exactly. Anakin and Tahiri, supremacy. To be honest, like, I think they're fine together, but I don't see this huge chemistry between mm. them. I mean, more so than... than uh, 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 Freaking uh, Callista, but wait, who uh, Luke and Mara? Yeah, they, have the most oh, yeah, they, they didn't have as much that. chemistry as they supposedly have. Yeah, so like it's definitely better than all the other relationships he gets into. But it's only by virtue of the other ones being sad. Not but at like, all, Matt. Well, I'm sorry if it spoiled it at all for you. Uh, Brendan, go two comments up, please. Uh, Max Olive gone insane. <laughs> no, no, we sucks. Go read Sound Fighters of Adama. The best couple in the EU. It's boring that the All best couple in the EU on the best couple in the EU. I agree, Pico. You're right. Wait, Brennan. <laughs> no, Brennan, no, Brennan, Brennan. no, 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 no. Danny no, Quee can die. I coming. don't care about her. Danny Quee can die, and I wish he had. I, we, I, can we kill her all? Okay, I was, I was about really to say that Matt's not here because he's hacked Maxwell's account. But upon <laughs> hearing the Danny Cree comment, I have to retract that statement because there's no way that that's Matt Wilkins. No, absolutely not. Because is Danny, Qu- is Danny Cree all, mentioned in Darkness? They were kids. She's in Darkness. She just she is in dark- And then she, she quits. The, she quits the order. Right, so I'm going to have her die after Dark Nest in between the five-year gap between Dark Nest and Legacy of the Force. We're going to kill her off. It's going to be great. I'm gonna it's going to be one of the further her. things to make me like the Matt dark side. Yeah, we're going to kill her off. The sheer pleasure in your voice as you talk about <laughs> killing her off is literally <laughs> Matt Wilkins. <laughs> it's best best. Sorry. As far as best couples go, I'm going to throw out... Um, Das and Ember, because even though Ember has no personality, at least there's Das. <laughs> you can account for ninety nine percent of the relationship and just win it. Absolutely, right. that, the relationship is horrible. But I actually yeah. liked Ember. I liked Ember. I thought I she, her character changed a bit by the end because, like, a Das's was positive. It's a bit too late to like her, but. Uh, <laughs> 
But yeah, so all right, all right with Brennan, some sort of a uh, young adult series with uh, Jason and Ben Skywalker uh, in between Darkness and Legacy of the Force. And one of the things that's going to help Jason go to the dark side is we're going to kill off Danny, and that was his ex lover. So he's going to be really sad about that. But I'm going to be really happy about, about that. that. He, he has no chemistry her. with her, so I don't know why he would care, but. You know, he apparently dated her for a while, so he cares Alex enough. Alex is going full on <laughs> Matt Wilkins. Hate him mode. Alex, and did Matt you actually mode. rent a bunch of weird films from a video store that Not you didn't yet. know what to do? Maybe I'll, I'll maybe look for them so I can pretend it's Danny Quaid. So Alex has to go meet the governor. And no, Alex has to fall off the roof first, then he has to go meet the governor. Yeah, you have to, Alex, to be Matt Wilkins, you need to fall off of uh, a roof and stuff like that. Um, also, Pico, this is a really deep and nuanced comment. You're making me think a lot with this. Thank you. I really appreciate it. That added a lot to the stream, and I'm glad. Oh, it was an accident. No. Um, Zane and Jarrell, very good couple. Matt Wilkins is your brother. Um, no, I, I wish. I think he'd be Matt a cool. Matt Wilkins is five cool brothers. brothers. But this is I the coolest younger brother I can have. After you're done with post Return of the Jedi web comic detailing what happened in between, yeah, that would be cool. Alex, collaborate with uh, Alex. Um, collaborate with Alex on that. All right, I know this guy. I know this guy. Come on, you're trolling me. It's nice to see you though, uh, man. How's it going? That is um, an IRL friend, um, and he, <laughs> he he's trolling me. Um, so, yeah, with that out of the way, Matt Wilkins is wrong. I have a brother. I rest my case. Thanks, Greyholm and Alex, for joining me and proving this. Um, yeah, Alex, do you see a brother? I do have a brother. But do you see him? Do you see my brother? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I see him. We see uh, him. Greyholm, you see him as well? You're not a raving lunatic. Oh, shoof. Good. Unless mass solution is a thing. And even though in all of history, you've never been able to, you know, mass hallucinate the same thing, but, you know, you did it, Brennan. <laughs> yeah. You're the first. yeah. It's a spectacular achievement in the field of science. Uh, yeah. I couldn't uh, be proud of you. We can discuss this a bit. Greyholm loves Shatterpoint. Me and Alex think it's a little, a little overrated. I think it's, I think it's extremely overrated. <gasps> no. no, not you too. I don't, I don't hate it. I think it's fine. I don't know why Matt hates it. It's a fine book, but it's Matt not hates this... it because he thinks most of it's in first person, which is not true either. I, uh, it's not. But uh, no, it's just. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's fine, but I don't think it's the uh, S tier that people say it is. Pico, Pico, Pico. And yes, you are the best at golf games. You beat me every single time, man. Um, Little mobile game that we play. Yes, and I'm horrible at it. But even though I'm horrible at golf games, I do have a brother. So there, Matt Wilkins and Scott Johnson. And uh, thanks to everyone who showed up in the comments for these antics. Yeah. And thanks, Greyholm and Alex, for joining me. Maybe come back tomorrow night. Maybe uh, maybe maybe come back another time, and Matt will will there. join us. And check out his channel. He reviews movies um, and talks about sports, and it's pretty cool. He puts in more editing effort than I do on my videos. So. Not recently. I've just been oh. uploading the sports stuff just to bring in views for the channel. But yeah, he's going to be working on bigger projects. He oh. does movies views and he spent like three weeks editing it so like currently i've been working on a ranking of all 50 u.s state flags so i think i could have that out in a few weeks but oh one last thing brennan could you put back up maxwell's comment uh which one that, the one before that this yeah collaborate with I, alex i didn't see that yeah so this is really interesting so i i would love to uh um, talk about some of my ideas with you and maybe I could implement some of your ideas into a, sh uh, a short story I'm planning on writing uh, or not, maybe not a short story, but like a fan fiction, maybe novel length about the same thing that you're talking about. 
Yeah. You should talk to Noah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> You're just going to go, nine, 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 nine. You can't write about that era because it's really bad. I hate it. It's worse than Hitler. <laughs> I need to burn books. I don't know. I'm turning into Arnold Schwarzenegger, but <laughs> I don't think no burning books. Uh, okay, that one I think you wouldn't do. When you said, when you said, when you said Noah research. said, when you said that Noah thinks Dark Ness is worse than Hitler, I don't know because I think he he likes he likes that guy. I don't I'm, think I'm just, he actually, I, I, yeah, I'm I just kidding. He was a troll, the troll, lovable troll. Finish the Denning verse before I start the project. Yes. That's fair. And you should because the Denning verse is wonderful. And with good that, luck, absolutely. you're gonna need it. It's it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good stuff. Only thing yes, that's yes. struggle is Dark Nest. It's a little boring when it comes to the bugs. I think the third one's a little slow. What would I think you say? Is, what would huh. you say is the best book to read that's interesting and like doesn't start it all off? What would you say? Shadow Games. It's not confusing. Shadow Games. Okay, so, so you mean the most uh, new reader friendly, basically? The Thrawn trilogy. Yeah. I. I don't think. I don't I think you like the Thrawn trilogy. No. Ah, Maxwell, Children of the Jedi. You okay, hilarious. If I honestly had to pick the best introduction to the EU book, I would pick Star Wars: Revenge of the Sith Novelization. Are really? you a big fan? Because are you? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, okay. okay. I have a few reasons for this. I recommend the Kenobi one, as, like the best like intro point for a new fan because you only need to Kenobi, know the movie. Eh? You know. Oh, the, it, the uh, only uh, thing about Kenobi uh, for yeah. a brand new fan is that some of them might not be that interested in Obi Wan on Tatooine. I know it's, it's it's a great book, but some people just might not be interested for some reason and want something more like Bane. So in my in my opinion, the perfect balance is the Revenge of the Sith novelization, because number one, it captures the spirit of Star Wars more than any book apart from the Unifying Force. Um, like just that every everything Star Wars is just captured within the book so well. Uh, only competitors the Unifying Force. Two, um, Revenge of the Sith is a very familiar story, and yet. Um, for the people who think that it has many flaws, it will address those flaws. And for the people who really like the story, it still gives them a, it gives them new perspectives to the story, which they'll like even more. Mm. Okay. And it's just uh, so well written. Jonathan, and also it expands on the others on a lot of stuff, which is exactly what the EU is all about. Okay, but Jonathan, then again. It recounts the movie though a lot. Yeah. A lot of it's about the movie. So if you want a new story, if you wanted a new story, are you a big hmm. fan of the prequels? The prequels, yeah, the prequels are good. They're good. Do you like, how how much do you like episode one? Uh, I love that one. Um, I've always liked that one. <laughs> I used to like Jar Jar Binks, not anymore. But okay. uh, so I used to like that. I like that film. It's probably like a seven out, six out of ten on a movie scale, probably. No, seven out of ten. Probably seven would, out of ten. I would say if you enjoy episode one, then you should read the young adult series, uh, uh, Jedi, uh, Jedi, Jedi Apprentice Jedi. by Jude Watson. Good Jude recommendation. Watson. I think oh. you'd actually really like it. Okay. Yeah, because it focuses Another. on Qui Gon and Obi Wan. Oh, uh, that's how much do you like Dooku? However, my copies are in really good shape. So. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the one time I was reading a book series he was reading at the time, I like um, was not a very careful he reader. Destroyed and so the first I destroyed book. them, so I got those copies and he got new copies. <laughs> that did happen. You gotta buy him new How copies. How much do you like Dooku or Yoda? Dooku, um, look, Dooku's okay. He's not the best villain on a yes. scale of like a bad villain to your. Gold Ducats and Moriarty's. He's like, uh, do you hear that, Alex? Four out of ten on the Jonathan stage. loves Gold Ducat. He is great. He's a great villain. I disagree with that. He's the top ten character in Star Trek. He's really fun to watch. Yeah, 
Yeah, he is. But Yoda also, Yoda, uh, Yoda is, he's okay. I think he's pretty good. Baby Yoda is adorable. No, I'm just kidding. I, just, I yeah, would it, try. He is Brandon, so, you should have grabbed the lightsaber. It's yeah, I should have. <laughs> I've made uh, it my if, if this happened near me, I would have grabbed one of my swords, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've made it my more emotion when Hold I see a face at the store. I'll just turn it I around so I can see I save some parents the trouble of having to buy it for their kids. He turns Imagine. around and sabotages Baby Yoda shirts at the store. I didn't know that, but that's good to Very hear. Nice. <laughs> Imagine if Marcel um, actually goes through with his promise of buying Ben and the Baby Yoda plushie at Legends Con. Oh, no. Please, no. Then you have to kill Marcel. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Yeah, that's Brennan was about to jake Please don't kill Marcel. We need him. I got the brother. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. He's he's a nice guy, though, even if he just said that about Baby Yoda. I'm just kidding. And I he was... can't stand it. I saw, like, a few minutes of Book of Boba Fett on at someone's house, and it was horrible. Like, the old originals from whenever they're from the 70s better and 80s. than the new Disney stuff because Disney just, like, don't care about what they're producing. They just want to produce it and get money. I unfortunately Making... sat through the whole show. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Thank you. Maybe I also unfortunately sat through the whole Kenobi show, which was worse than The Last Jedi. Rip Greyholm. Maybe I'll make you appreciate the universe more. <laughs> Maybe it's so bad that you're going to go back and read the Denning verse at some point in your life. You're like, man, this is actually fine. I have no issues anymore. Not when it's compared to the other stuff. If they, if they turn Czech Baca into an actual... Um, like plushie, plushie. Buy, like yeah, I would buy tons of them. Brennan, like, imagine... can you make a Jake Vaca shirt soon? Yeah, I'm planning on it. I'm gonna wear it yeah, to Legends you, Con. Alex, you also need to make the Waru shirt. You you have to wear that to Legends Con. I don't know if I'm gonna do a Waru shirt. I'm thinking one day Quinlan Vos shirt, oh. and then the other day Czech Baca Heir to the Empire shirt. I'll have to coordinate because Marcel has it as well. Um, mm. Alex, do you want to wear? Czechoslovakian heir to the empire cover on a black t shirt. I'm down. A Legends Con? Yeah. But wow. It, you it you can get it online for like eleven dollars or something like that through the <laughs> site Marcel printed it at. I'll try. So, we'll see. We'll see. see. Yeah. We'll see. You'll see about it. You'll see about we'll see it. About it. Yeah. Absolutely. I gotta head out anyway. So well, well, the, stream, the stream's Czech ending. Yeah. Great to see you out. See you again sometime. Bye. Next week, for sure. Bye -bye. Great to see you. It's great to yep. see you too. Good bye. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thank thanks. You all for thanks for everyone who showed up in the chat. Yeah. Also, check out my brother's channel. This was an opportunity to plug him. Because also, everybody, quickly say happy birthday in the comments. <laughs> yes, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Thank happy you. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey. Yeah, I just don't like one. <laughs> Well, it's true. It's true. I do not that. see Alex doing that. <laughs> I read that. I'm, I'm, I'm checking out. That's what I would say to Chewbacca. Wilkins level troll move. <laughs> All right. Legendary Bye -bye. move from Alex, as as always. Yeah, yeah as always. A professional singer, Alex. No, I don't have that good of a voice. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's, it, I sing the show. That's about it. <laughs> Yep. So, on that note, like Matt seven. Wilkins, Jonathan is real. He is my brother, and he doesn't make ice cream weird. 